Patrick Line and I would like to welcome you to GM Week. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, GM Week. What's going on? And welcome back to another episode of your Alaska Ice Eagles custom NHL 21 franchise mode. We are here at the postseason with Patty Line, the newest addition, probably the biggest trade we've ever made. We've made some big splashes, don't get me wrong. We've made some big moves like trading for Shane Wright, you know, acquiring Sidney Crosby later in his career. But this Patrick Line move was a huge one. It was a biggie. And he's playing amazing 38 points in 30 games 22 goals though that's exactly what we got him for and I got him for this deep playoff run so GM week what is it it's basically a video every single day for an entire week pretty self-explanatory there is going to be shorter episodes because you're gonna get one every single day so since we're starting at the playoffs we are gonna do one round per video obviously we're going to go in depth on some stats and all that just so they're not like 15 minutes Minute videos but you are gonna get a video every single day for a week once the playoffs are over hopefully towards the end of the week because I want to go on a deep playoff run we'll get back into the regular swing of things this is the year I'm feeling like we are going to do some damage I was hoping that we were going to be better in the regular season 47 wins isn't bad maybe I was a little harsh on the boys I was expecting like a 60 win season we are in year number six of this franchise mode so if you look at this this little chart here that my boy Trevor puts together. Shout out to Trevor for doing all of the uh, stats for the Alaska Ice Eagles. Here is our playoff performances. We didn't make it in year number one. We surprisingly made it in year number two. We didn't make the playoffs in year three, but this is the third consecutive year we have been in the playoffs. Uh, the last two years, we beat the Avalanche in the first round, and then we got bounced in the second round by the Jets and the Canucks. So this is a new opponent here with the Anaheim. Ducks. There's a few things I really want to focus on. I'm really hoping that Shane Wright can continue playing with Patrick Laine and they can have that connection. I mean, they're both still relatively young. Patrick Laine is only 27 years old. It's not like he's 34 or anything like that. He's still got a lot of life left in him. And Shane Wright, I know the whole thing about Shane Wright is he's never scored a goal in the postseason and that's always a hot topic down there in the comments section. Assist master playing with Patrick Laine. I'm happy with it. So whether you score or you don't score, I don't care. Just feed the puck to Patrick Line. That's all I ask. I'm not worried about these three guys. I'm not worried about anyone else down here. Rick McMuffin going from an 82 to an 88 in one year. What a guy. We got a new fourth line. I'm excited. I think the team is the best it's ever looked. We have a great mix of skill, strength, toughness. We got the goaltender, Hunter Lightning. I know everyone's still hating on him, but he's my guy right now. He He's my goaltender for this postseason. Let's look at the Anaheim Ducks. Okay, so looking at this team here, and I can already see some familiar faces. We'll talk about their top six in a minute, but I can see Andre Burakoski, former Alaska Ice Eagle. Now he has a 40-point season with the Anaheim Ducks. We also see Alexander Wenberg, a former legend as well. He had 48 points this year. He came over and he played awesome for us. I mean, Luke Roach just kind of took his spot. So did Sidney Crosby. And we also see Zach Sanford here. So we got three former members of the Alaska Ice Eagles. Zach Sanford uh, came over from the St. Louis Blues, went to Edmonton. Now he's been chilling in Anaheim for the past couple of years. So it's interesting to see that. Three former players and Isaac Lundstrom, who was a big part of our Buffalo franchise mode. But looking at their top six, oh my God, Zane Coleman. Look at this guy. First overall he is nasty 21 years old he is a stud it's kind of interesting though they played him in the NHL uh, his rookie year and then they sent him back down to the OHL because he was that young. He had 105 points and back up with the big league. He scored 30 goals as a rookie and then they send him back to the OHL. Okay, I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, you got Trevor Zegers as well so they are just stacked. Trevor Zegers, again, a bonafide stud and then you got Jordan Eberle here who is uh, probably playing like a 91 or a 92 with Trevor Zegers and Zane Coleman. 
You got Maxime Comtois, another former member of our Buffalo franchise mode, the Stanley Cup winning Buffalo franchise mode. Sam Steele, Ricard Raquel, so 91, 92, 88, 90, 91, 90. That is scary. And I mean, you got 85, 86, 85, 83, 83, 83. So yeah, that's, that's really impressive. Looking at their defense here, Shea Theodore goes back to the Anaheim Ducks. That's kind of funny. He bounced around a little bit. He was originally a member of the Anaheim Ducks, and then he got claimed in the expansion draft by the Vegas Golden Knights, so kind of cool to see him go back. They got Brendan Gooley, Travis Dermont, Ryan Graves, Joel Edmondson, and Axel Anderson. And then between the pipes, it's no longer John Gibson. He's out there in Newfoundland. They have Carter Hart, kind of hot between the pipes. So they're deep. They're very, very deep. Uh, and they have depth as well. So, oh, Aldrich Slegger, of course. How can we forget Aldrich Slegger? Now, obviously, the trade was made not that long ago, but the reason why they have so many former members of our team is because we got Thomas Audison from the Anaheim Ducks. We ended up trading two seconds, Slegger, Wenberg, and Burakoski for Thomas Audison, the 87 overall low franchise who's actually fitting in great on our team. So, without further ado, one more look at our squad here before we get into round number one. The former duck here, we have Thomas Audison on our top end with Miko Hedman, Hayden Fleury. I'm excited. Let's hop into this thing. I have all the faith in the world with Hunter Lightning here. So let's go game number one at the Honda Center here in sunny Anaheim, California, Orange County. It's snowing in Alaska and it's plus 30 in Anaheim. And we score on the first shot of the game. Big bad Zion. There you go. Starting the postseason off right. Yeah, absolutely love to see it. Let's go, boys. We really got to build off that one. Let's go. Period number one. Ooh, we do the exact opposite. Zane Coleman and Ricard Raquel. Okay, 17 to 7 are the shots. Come on, Hunter Lightning. I need you here, buddy. Period number two. I'd love a goal from the back end. And we get Zion Bertuzzi. Okay, he's doing all the work here. 25 14 are the shots. We should be producing a bit more here. That's a huge penalty kill. Ty Ronning dumping pucks all day, every day. 28 24 are the shots. Come on, boys. All you need is one. Not from Anaheim. Jordan Eberly on the power play. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, Ricard Raquel. Damn it. God, this is not how I wanted this to go. Okay, it's all good. Take a breath. We we struggled there a little bit. I'm not quite sure what happened. And Victor Soderstrom has been injured with a sore knee April 23rd. That hurts big time. Oh boy. It's okay. Have no fear. We have the defensive god himself, Jamal Hutchins, back in the mix. All right. It's all good. We lost Victor Soderstrom. That hurts. He's done for at least this round. That's a little bit concerning, but going into game number two here, we started off right. We just got to build on that we can't let them strike come on Crosby I need you to step up here Ty Ronning let's go maybe Patrick Line Shane Wright let's get it clicking here period number one game number two and a two nothing Patrick Line and Miko Hedman the Finn and the Swede come into play period number two let's build on this one four to nothing McMuffin and Zion there you go that's the team we know Zion again he's got four goals in two games he's clicking that's awesome probably all assisted by Crosby. That's a big bounce back game. 5 to nothing. 32 to 20. Crosby, there you go. He's talking about the shots there and Crosby says continue. Oh my god, talk about continuing the goals. Zion baby with the hat trick. What's going on here? 7 to nothing. I said in the last episode this team was so incredibly streaky and they're showing it here. 7 to nothing. Oh my god. That is a dominating performance. Zion with at least 3 points and of course Zane Coleman has to ruin the shutout for Hunter Lightning. Poor guy can't have anything. Tyroning with three apples, Hedman a goal and two helpers, Zion with four points. How many points did Crosby have? I assume he had a couple of helpers on, uh, oh no, actually only the one goal, no apples. Interesting. That's still... Uh Still, that's totally fine. I don't care about individual stats. I just want to see W's on the score sheet. Another injury. Okay, that's for our AHL team. Okay, we can not worry about that one. Going into game number three, we're at home after a huge win, a dominating performance. We're here at home in front of our home fans. All the assistant GMs up in section 305. I see you guys up there. Let's go period number one at the Igloo and Zion Bertuzzi. Oh my God. 
thought. I saw someone in the comments say, I don't know if Zion has earned the legend tag yet. Well, he's definitely earning it here. Period number two. Okay, two to two. Shane Wright, the first ever postseason goal. Shane freaking Wright. He finally plots one. There you go. Ricard Raquel and Coleman tie it up. We got a tie hockey game going into the third. Come on, Sid. I'd love to see a goal here. I'd love to see a goal. Oh my God. Rick McMuffin. Free egg McMuffins for everyone. A playoff goal and free McMuffins. Shane Wright once again, the pure sniper. There you go. But Ricard Raquel makes it interesting. 44 to 31 are the shots. Come on, boys. Keep up the pressure. Oh my God. There you go. Hunter Lightning makes 30 saves and we have a two to one lead. Shane Wright, two and one. Who says this guy's never going to score? There you go. His first ever postseason goal and it comes in a big way. Hopefully no injuries here. And oh my God, Zion, June 10th, post-concussion syndrome. Oh my God. I need to take a second. Oh my God. Post-concussion syndrome? Who would hit a guy? Zion's huge. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. This is bad news, Bears. This is really, really bad. This is not good. Uh, this is really, really bad. Okay, we gotta call someone up here. Zion, oh my god, I gotta go check the injury report in a second here. Holy, that's the worst thing that can ever happen. All right, so we had to call Derek Stepan up. Rick McMuffin's now on the first line. Zion had six goals in three games, seven points. Oh my god, he was our main source of goal scoring, and he gets a concussion, post-concussion syndrome. Oh man, yeah, he's toast for a little while. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. It's going to be at least a couple more days until we find out the complete diagnosis but that is awful that is the worst case scenario that couldn't literally nothing worse could have happened there but I gotta hope Rick McMuffin can step up here we have all of the momentum here we just won two straight I mean the absolute dominating game there and then we squeaked out a victory right there but without Zion man I'm a little bit nervous I'm not gonna lie to you Everyone take a breath here. We can really put the pressure on here. We can go up 3-1 to one against the Anaheim Ducks. Play for Zion. Let's go. Period number one. Rick McMuffin. Without even any hesitation, he's on the first line left wing. And he produces instantly. First shot of the game. You love to see it. Attaboy, Rick. Free McMuffins for everyone. Period number one. And it's 2-2. Two -two. Okay, Shane Wright, the sniper. Uh, Zane Coleman and Shea Theodore. This Coleman guy is nuts. He is so so damn good. Shea Theodore, what are you doing jumping up in the play there, scoring a big goal? Period number two. Can we please step ahead here? No. We do the exact opposite. Trevor Zegras, Maxime Comtois, and Sam Steele. Luke Roach scores for us. There's lots of hockey left, though. Lots of hockey. Power play? All right. Ty Ronning, maybe? Haven't seen Ty Ronning score a goal yet. Come on, boys. And Maxime Comtois basically puts it away. Oh, there it is. Six to four, Ty Ronning. We're only down by two. I know we can strike. Come on. Miko Hedman, maybe. Thomas Audison. Someone. Oh, my God. We allow six without Zion. And now we have a tied up series two to two please no more injuries i cannot handle another one. Oh my god miko hedman <laughs> give me a break this is supposed to be our year and you take away our our captain and our best player are you joking me oh the injury bug oh man all right so here's our defense here we got thomas Audison, hayden flurry hutchins miko letnin we have to call up this vacheslav dmitriev he was one of those guys that we ended up signing in free agency so it's not great it's really ugly right now the injury bug has hit us hard it has not been easy to deal with let's check out on Zion here see what the actual thing was if it was a concussion post concussion syndrome how long is he out for can he even attend the games oh man uh, post concussion syndrome yeah he's toast and then Miko Hedman still pending evaluation so this is awful this is like worst case scenario right now 
Well, boys, I don't know what to say here. It looks like Newfoundland actually got eliminated in four. They got swept by the Montreal Canadiens, but we can bounce back in the series here. It's only 2-2. There's still lots of hockey left. I'm not counting us out. We got a lot of role players. We got Crosby, for Christ's sakes. Sidney Crosby, we can do this. I just need someone to take the reins for our injured players here. Let's go, period. And you know what? Actually, this is way too important. We're going to go times eight, and Jordan Eberle scores on the second shot, but Luke Roach comes right back there you go the roach the pest himself and then maxime comtois comes right back okay we could be in for a wild one here hopefully we can tie the game up before going into the second please five minutes left we're out shooting them but it looks like carter hart standing on his head here almost 15 shots in the first only the one goal come on boys crosby ronning where is patrick line shane right even someone power play you have way too lethal of a power play not to score there come on oh Andre Burakoski the former ice eagle oh no not like this there you go Patrick Lining on the power play okay look at the shots throat shooting them by over 10 here come on we can get back into this St. Coleman oh my god okay this is this is rough this is rough right now. Going into the third here, we can please get back into this one. Rick McMuffin on the power play. I mean, look at the shots. God, we should be dominating these guys, even without our star players. Zane Coleman, talk about a star player. Oh, my God. Maxime Comtois, poor guys are eating us alive. Jeez, this is... This hurts. I mean, this was supposed to be our year. Start of GM week, Patty Liney makes it 6-4, to four, but damn, this is uh, rough. This is really rough. Please, no more injuries. Okay, so looks like Victor Soderstrom is back. I'm going to go best lines, see how that all works out. We should be good to go. Uh, Ronin, Crosby, McMuffin, I want to go like this. Uh, actually, no, I want to go like that, sorry. Bellows, we'll go like you there. Um, Greenway, Furland. I guess. Oh, man. Oh, we got Miko Hedman back as well. It didn't say he was back, but I'll take it. Okay, Miko Hedman's back. Uh, that helps out big time. Our defense is back to the way it once was, kind of. Uh, Hayden Fleury, you can go there. All right, okay. We might be, I don't know, it's going to be... It's going to be tight. I mean, we still have a big hill to climb. We basically have to win two straight. All right, let's go. Our backs are up against the wall here. Let's just go have some fun, all right? Crosby, Patrick Lyon, hey, just go out there, have some fun, play hockey in front of your home fans. I'm not packing it in at all, but let's just go out there, have fun. Don't take it so seriously. Period number one. You know, maybe we can play spoiler here. Maybe we can do it. We have our captain back. That's a huge plus. Period number one. It's one. 1-1. One, one. I'll take it. Sidney freaking Crosby. Trevor Zegris. Okay. Period number two. Two to two. Kiefer Bellows on the power play. The big guy who's not that big. Again, Rout shooting him like crazy. Over 30 shots already. We're peppering the goalie and Rick McMuffin, baby. Then Ty freaking running. Talk about Mr. Clutch. That's why we signed him. That's exactly the reason why we signed Ty running. Huge goals like that in the postseason. 41 to 24. Jordan Greenway, how you doing on the power play? Just like that, we have forced a game seven. Down but never out, baby. Let's just go. I'm not even going to stop. I'm not even going to take a drink of water here. I'm just going to go all the way to game seven. Our team is the best it can be with the injuries we have. Game number seven here in the Honda Center. I'm not even worried. We beat these guys seven to one in their home barn not too long ago. We can do it again here. Let's go, boys. Period. Number one, cue the epic music, let's go, and it's one nothing. Okay, that's a little bit concerning. We're gonna go times eight here. We're being outshot for the first time in what seems like forever. We need one, we need one in a bad way. Miko Hedman, someone, we need one. Audison against his old team. Oh my God, Michael Furlan, there you go. A player I did not think was gonna score, but then Trevor Zegras comes right back, okay. All right, lots of hockey left here. No need to panic. I'd love to tie up the game before going into the third. Not the case. Okay, everyone breathing. 
everyone breathe. Come on, Lyonnais, I need you here, my guy. Patrick Lyonnais, I need you big time to step up and score a goal. Shane Wright even, come on. Times four simulation, we're taking it slow. 25 shots to 25. It's dead even, and guess freaking who? Tyroning, baby, there you go. Now let's get another one right away. We've tied up the game. We got all the momentum right now. They're shaking in their boots. They haven't had a shot in what seems like forever. Eight minutes left. Oh my God, Tyroning. Do it again, buddy. Do it again. I dare you. I triple dog dare you. Are we going to go into overtime here? Of course we are. No, we're not because Ty freaking Ronning. You've got to be kidding me. This is unbelievable. He gets two in game seven. Oh my God. That. <laughs> Yes, Tyroning, you beauty. This is the reason. If you ever wonder why Tyroning is the goat, or why he's a channel legend, that is just right there. That's all it was. That is a game seven classic Tyroning performance. You love to see it. You honestly do. I'm smiling from ear to ear. Hunter Lightning with 30 saves in game seven, and we are off to round number two. We're battered, we're bruised, but we have the heart, baby. We have the heart. And oh my god, we have the Vancouver Canucks in round number two, who also went seven games as well. Oh my god, Ty, you beautiful, beautiful man. Look at this guy. What a stud. 13 points. He has four goals, two of them in game seven. Talk about clutch. There it is. Miko Hedman, 10 points in only six games. Shane Wright with nine, three helpers. Crosby with nine. Oh man, beautiful. Rick McMuffin with. Uh, uh, with five Genos as well. I'd like Patrick Laine to step up a little bit in the postseason. Is he a playoff performer? Let's have a look here. Playoff stats. He's got 88 points in 93 games. Yeah, he's definitely a playoff performer. I'd love to see him get. I'd love to see him have a big second round here against the Canucks because we are definitely going to need it. As for the goaltenders, I mean, it wasn't pretty, but we got it done. I mean, with how everything you know was looking, we were looking like we we're done after. We're looking like we were basically done after game five, but here we are. We beat the Anaheim Ducks in seven games, and we're off to round number two against the Canucks. Out. We're looking to get our revenge against the Vancouver Canucks here. What a start to GM week. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next episode when we have the Vancouver Canucks in round number two.